Mediterranean monk seals are one of the most critically endangered species on Earth, with less than 600 seals remaining in the wild. So when a tiny pup, only three days old, washed ashore in a storm, locals sprang into action. Battered, dehydrated, hungry, and with no mother in sight, the newborn seal found herself in the care of another mom, the acronym for a group of scientists dedicated to saving this species from extinction. Mom biologist Ginny Andrukaki sees the rescue efforts as essential to ensuring a future for this rare seal and for protecting the health of the entire Mediterranean Sea. With so few seals left, each animal becomes especially important to the species' survival. A female like Victoria might give birth to 15 pups in her life, so this one little seal is very important to the future of her species. And because monk seals are one of the very few top predators in the Mediterranean Sea, protecting this seal means protecting the delicate balance of other marine species in the region. At the lab, Ginny and her crew set to work cleaning Victoria's wombs deep cuts from being slammed against the rocks. The pup is too young to eat fish, so the team blends a fish milkshake and feeds her through a tube. Soon she's on the mend, swimming, playing, and like any curious youngster, getting into everything. While an aquarium is a good place to grow healthy, it won't teach Victoria how to survive in the open ocean. Normally, a seal's mom would show her the ropes. In Victoria's case, Jenny will take on the job. Because monk seals are so reclusive, biologists know little about how seal mothers raise their pups. Thanks to remote cameras, they're about to learn more. The mom team sets up the cameras in a secluded cove where the monk seals take shelter and give birth. The cameras provide a rare glimpse into the private life of the seals, allowing biologists to study how mothers and pups interact without disturbing the animals. While Victoria recovers in the rehab center, biologists watch the seal mothers. They take notes on what they'll need to teach Victoria to prepare her for life in the wild. Back at the mom center, Victoria's Seal School starts with learning to eat fish. Quickly, she graduates to live fish, gaining weight and strength. The meals are free here at the mom center, but when she returns to the open water, she'll find that a fish dinner can come at a high cost. In this area, Fishermen and monk seals have been competing for the same catch for centuries. The crafty seals dash into fish nets to steal a meal, often damaging the nets in the process. Many frustrated fishermen have seen them as pests. Mediterranean monk seals are legally protected, but some fishermen still kill them. Other seals get tangled in the nets and drown. But mom researchers are working with fishermen to strike a truce. They share information about the seal's relatively small catch, and they teach locals how to safely release netted seals. The mom team hopes that fishermen will learn to see seals not as enemies, but as a way to spark conservation efforts for the region. If people improve monk seal habitat, fish populations might also increase, a boon for both seals and fishermen. With mom's help, this rare seal has become a source of local pride, and residents regularly call the mom hotline to report injured or stranded seals. Back at the rehab center, Victoria graduates from seal school with an audience of well-wishers to see her off. She's leaving behind her home of four months for a life at sea. For Jenny, it's the moment of truth, bidding farewell to the seal she's raised and letting go allowing Victoria to face the future on her own. No one knows what Victoria's future holds, but thanks to a new common technology, we're about to find out.
While many animals are tracked by radio collars or satellite technology, Victoria gets her own cell phone. The specially designed mobile technology sends text messages back to the mom headquarters with details of Victoria's life at sea. The text messages give Ginny and the mom team information on how deep Victoria dives, how fast she swims, and where her journeys take her in the Mediterranean. Victoria's text let Ginny track how the little seal is adapting to her new surroundings. The messages also help researchers learn more about this rare and elusive species. In six months, the cell phone will shed with Victoria's molting pelt. From that point on, her rescuers will only be able to hope that she, like the rest of her species, will beat the odds and thrive. But until then, like many human adolescents, she'll check in regularly by text. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs, taking science and exploration into the new millennium.